first, right? Yeah. You got to save that sandwich? Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's, yeah, let's throw the bag and stuff and everything else in the garbage. Perfect. Thank you. You want to punch or not? Uh, no, I'm okay on that. Okay. All right, man. So, I've got a few things I would like to quickly talk to you about. You are obviously in custody. So uh -huh. I'm going to do the Miranda before I can do that for you, okay? So you have the right to remain silent. Any civil so case against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have a present with you or be questioned. If you can't afford to hire a lawyer, I want to be able to present you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand each of these rights I've explained to you? Yes. Having these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to us now? Uh, talk to you? Yeah, me and Detective. Yeah, I got there on that. We're simply looking to get your side of the story, what's going on here, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, that's we it, have, yeah. We haven't heard what you guys say either. And I can't do that to you, we get through that part, so. Um, let's just start off. What will you tell me about what was going on this morning? Or this morning? <sighs> let's see. I got pulled over and I had marijuana. Okay. What about before the traffic stop? What were you, what was going? What were you doing? Oh, we were walking at the park. By the park, you mean like the pond and the trail and all that? Yeah. What do they call it? Uh, the old Indian place where the rivers meet. I'm familiar with that? Got a fancy term? Do you know what? Yeah, it's right there where the Ogden and the Weaver rivers meet. Oh. Weaver River meet. But you're so you're on that 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 whole trail complex that's back there behind the one. You went in, I think I know where you went in, to where you go across the bridge and the road goes, the trail goes up and down both ways, right? Okay. Yeah, so, let's see. So if you cross that main bridge of the parking lot, mm -hmm. and then you just kind of keep going straight-ish, and then it curves to the right. Yeah, right there where the two rivers come together. Yeah. Okay. All right. And you were with, who were you walking with? Corey Fitzwater. Is he family friend? Yep, family friend, exactly. Oh, there we go. Oh, what time do you think you guys got out there? Oh, it was late. We just got done busting up concrete for his neighbor um, with the sledgehammer. So we were kind of having a good time, you know. But I, I think it was, I think it was two to three. AM, right? Uh-huh. You guys work on that late busting concrete, too? Well, we only busted concrete till about 12. But they had it jacked up, and they were trying to bust it, and it just would bust off a little piece every time. Mm -hmm. So we just started going to town, and it just all went. It's good uh, therapy, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, where's the neighbor? Where does that live at? The what? Where was that at? You guys do the concrete. Uh, so it'd be Kitty Corner in his backyard. The word just so neighbor of its neighbor of Corey's. Yes. Where does Corey live at? Uh, by Hoagies. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so you guys are busting concrete. Um. Okay. So. What I'm talking to you about, I'm not worried about the marijuana or that. Okay, so that's all I've been interviewed for. So you guys break concrete. You guys normally go to the river to. So I'm assuming happens to go there for you to drink beer, smoke a blunt, and exactly. walk by the beautiful out there, right? Yeah. Okay. Is that something you guys normally do? Like no. Like a thing for you? Yeah. We usually just hang out. How far did you guys walk around the trail? I think I had. The freeway in sights, at least, like when you start, when you take that turn off in the distance, you can see the freeway. Mm -hmm. Do you guys see anybody else on the trails or? Yeah, cook the tank. Are there late night revelers or transients or what? Uh, campfires. Okay. Yeah. So, I would assume transients, huh? Forgive me, I think he's like knows this better than I do. So you guys park in the direction. So when you first say you're walking, are you going east, north? How does that trail split off? 
Yeah, so it'd go. Um, let's see, that would be south, and then it heads to the west. So, and how long? So you guys get there? You think around two to three? Um, yeah. How long do you guys are out there for? Uh, enough to smoke a little, basically. Sure. An hour, half hour. I know it's hard to tell time, but there's half an hour. Do you guys hear any commotion or anything out there? Well, I kind of have a feeling that I know what you guys are after. Like, did someone get killed? I mean, so I heard a gunshot. For sure. That's just that vibrates let us know it's still working. Where are we having heard the gunshot? I mean, relatively speaking. So, when you start heading towards the west, there's like a weird vinyl fence. Like, if you, they got voltage up across it, you're not supposed to cross it. Well, it's about right there. Um, I think it's a junkyard if you cross the fence right there. What did you see, hear, smell after the gunshot? Uh, nothing. Yeah, just that's it. What did you guys do? Um, well, we're kind of country. I guess we didn't even pay no mind to it, to tell you the truth. I thought it was weird so late, but yeah. Did you guys just continue on your way? Did you start? No, sorry, I missed it. So did you guys continue just walking the direction you're going? You guys? Yeah, we we turned around about when you hit that fence with the voltage, and you can see the freeway. Okay. Just walk back. When you say by that fence, does that mean you were by the fence, or that's where you heard the shot? I was by the fence. You was by the shot. Where did you hear the shot? At? If I had to pinpoint the shot, where it came from. place, HVAC place, uh, Mountain Valley Mechanical, mm -hmm. I bet you that's, I think, where. What direction is that from where you're at? <sighs> Let's see, it's right on that hard turn where it says 15 miles an hour, that's where um, I think it probably was, Okay. because um, that's where that Rocky Mountain Mechanical is. Mm -hmm. So. You say you were by the vinyl fence and you heard it by the hard turn, so you think it was to the north of you then? Let's see. So, yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so how much longer were, so you hear the shot, you guys finish whatever you're doing to get back to the car, how long do you think that took? 20. 20 for the hike back. I'm probably not even that, pretty close. Okay. It's hard to be exact out there. Then you guys immediately got in the car, started and left. Or did you guys hang around in the parking lot for a little bit? No, we just left, got pulled over real quick. <laughs> Didn't take long. Did you guys go on to any of the camps while you were down there? Mm -mm. You like the homeless people? Mm -hmm. Uh uh. Actually, never came face to face with any of them. Just there's a time. Just through the fires. Mm -hmm. Do you know any homeless people that live out there? I do not. Let's 
Sometimes I count like it. <laughs> All right. So next question I have for you is the firearm that they found you with that six hours, is that right? The what? The gun you had in your car? Uh-huh. Where did you get that? I'm sorry, I missed it again. The what? The gun you had in your car? Oh, yeah. Where, where did you get that? So that's Corey's. set up for? No clue. Did you guys take that with you when you were doing your walk? No, I had some bullets in my pocket from earlier, but so we were shooting it earlier, but we didn't take it on the walk. Where were you shooting it at? Uh, West Warren. His uh, parents and the Wawa have a pretty good pad out there. Just lots of country, just all oh, yeah. Pretty good on your targets. Yeah, it's awesome. Was so Corey's gun? Was that Corey's ammo too? Did you, did you? Yeah. Yeah, I actually tried, uh, we were going to make a trade. Um, I took him my Universal, 30 caliber carbine Universal. So, we were just on a gun kick, kind of, on a trading thing. Did you going to trade the carbine for the... I was thinking about it, but he never could talk me into it, because it's my, my uncles that made, uh, there's a PT Cruiser that's so fancy at Frank Mares in Lagoon. I but I've he, got kids I should go yeah, down there, but I know. But he built it, so it's kind okay. of close to me. Yeah, it's a little like that. Yeah. So you guys ever had any camps down there? You don't know any? Were you and Corey together the whole time? Did you guys ever break up to go take a leak or for anything? I guess there was a few leak breaks, probably. Yeah. But no, we were pretty much together. So, when you guys were separated for whatever, you know, going to take a urinate or whatever, did Corey leave you? Did you leave Corey? Um, I think I left him once and he left me once. I mean, not leave. Right, bad sight. Yeah. Go do your business. else that was going on up there that you think might have been weird or odd or struck your senses is kind of yeah the whole night man like oh it just gave me a bad feeling sure as heck showed up as a bad one you know, like, can you articulate that at all like what do you mean uh, i mean kind of like the holy ghost i guess <laughs> just someplace you shouldn't be all right then Bolts you had in your pocket, those were unfired rounds. Correct. From, like we do, you just throw 50 rounds in your pocket and go to the load wire out there? Yeah. What was Corey thinking about? Saying anything? How, how was Corey last night? Yeah, he, he was upset. He uh, his wife was accusing him of cheating on her, which he claims for sure hasn't. Um, but it makes him think that she is. That's what he told me. So yeah, we were we were venting that night for sure. I was kind of there for him. How was Corey? He was upset. Is he uh, caught? 
calm? Does he get a he, little angry? It, he gets a little angry, but I think it's his uh, war stuff. His um, Iraq, PTSD. I think he's retired. Uh, he's retired and he's like 30 years old. He's got a purple heart. for that. Yeah. That sounds like it didn't come cheap, obviously. Do you know Corey's wife pretty well? Yeah. Are you married, kids? Free life? How old are you? 20, turning 28. How much are you? Still can enjoy it while you can. Okay, so an area of concern or question that we have. Mm -hmm. So you guys were there. How do I want to word this? We find in life, especially a place where coincidence doesn't occur a lot. Usually if things happen and they seem tied together, they're most likely tied together somehow, right? Uh -huh. So would there be any reason why we would find a spent shell casing that matches the gun you guys had at the scene of what we're investigating? I'm going to come clean right now. Yeah, okay. Thank you, because the forensic evidence tells us a story. You're, you're not helping yourself. Okay. Um, so Corey did leave, and that's when I heard the gunshot. And that is it, man. And that's when we left, because I knew something bad happened. But he didn't say nothing. How would how did he seem after? Calm, I guess. Like, like you know, you guys have been friends for a while. Uh huh. Okay. Did his so post when you're saying he left the gunshot and after? Did he seem more relaxed? Almost relaxed? Uh huh. circumstance now if what you're telling us is the truth mm -hmm. you're telling us you come clean you're telling us this is the truth yes uh, you yeah I'm, I'm you, telling you, need to, you, know, you need to get off any thoughts of protecting Corey okay okay when we ask okay. him questions and we're and, and things like that well I don't want to drag these out of you you need to give us all the details this is not a short story this is a long story right okay so a short detail like I walked away I heard a gunshot I thought something bad happened there's a lot of shit that went up before you walked away from him there's uh -huh. a lot of stuff that went on after you are thinking about you now uh -huh. if you're telling us the truth uh -huh. you're not protecting Corey anymore right because if you're not a witness what are you uh, let's see what would it be a, what they, a bystander no uh, yeah. no we call that police work a suspect Oh, okay. Suspect and or accomplice. Do you want to be a suspect, accomplice, or a witness? Well, I didn't do anything, so I don't want to be any of those. Uh, no, no what you want to be is a witness. Uh, oh, okay. Right? Yeah, right. Yeah, you don't want to be an accomplice. You don't want to be a suspect. You want to be a witness. Yeah. Now, you could have the potential to be a very good witness. Mm -hmm. Or you could be resistive and not sure with us all the details, which is going to make you an accomplice. Uh -huh. Does that all make sense? Yes, it does. Okay. Sure. So when we ask you things... Even if, if don't, don't short don't short the answers, and also, mm -hmm. if we don't ask details and you have details, share them because you don't want anything to do with the end result of a man dying, right? Yes, exactly. You understand, witness, it's a good role. Okay. Accomplice means you share punishment with the actor and themselves. Uh huh. The courts don't differentiate. Yeah. If he shoots somebody, I'm there, and I, even if I know about it, and I don't do anything, I'm an accomplice, and I share his prison sentence. Mm -hmm. so okay. You don't want to be that guy, right? Correct. And I knew nothing about this. So like, let's go back. Okay. You guys just didn't randomly be walking down a trail. He walks around and just decides to shoot somebody. There's something that led you guys to that camp. And that's why I brought up his uh, wife still, because mm -hmm. I think really that's what it is, because I can't think of any reason. Okay. Well, he, he wanted you to take him down there. Yeah, who picked the spot to go? Uh, I always knew it. Yep. 
Yeah, because I grew up in Marius Slayerville. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm saying, you guys, what, what led you guys there? Tonight. We know you know the spot. What led you there last night? Uh, yeah, marijuana. So were you going to buy marijuana? No, we were smoking it. Okay. So, and the, so and the cops found my bag. So here, here's the story that I'm kind of I'm kind of getting from you, and, and and if this is what you're going to go with, uh, yeah, it's not going to be good for you. Okay. You're going to say that you guys randomly showed up at a random spot to randomly smoke some marijuana, ran into a random camp, and shot some guy. Ah, <sighs> yeah, that sounds bad. Yeah. No, I'm thinking what happened was uh, there was a reason you guys went there. The guy, the, the guy that, that, that was there, you knew, or Corey knew, well, wait, wait, okay. Corey or you knew he was there, so you guys went down there to deal with that. Now, I understand you not wanting to be involved in the actual process of it, but there's something that led you guys to that spot. I refuse to believe you, I mean, that Corey just randomly picked some guy and shot him. Start the truth, dude. I'm, I, I'm kind of being serious. I think that's what happened. I think he literally just shot the guy. I mean, I know that sounds bad, but literally. That's a hard sell in a, in a court of law. Yeah, it is. When you're on the stand and we're trying to convince the jury that, no, no, Dalton didn't have anything to do with this. Oh, okay. I got you. It's uh, his PTSD stuff. I don't think this is the first time it's happened, but I think it's something to do with that. Okay, so I, what did Corey say before he shot the guy? Uh, nothing. Like, it, it was. What made you separate from him? He went uh, off the trail, and I followed him, okay. and he shot the guy. So you were there? Yeah. Okay, so that, that's one thing we want to make clear, that you guys didn't separate. You saw what happened. Yeah. So that, that's helpful because, because to say that he randomly walks away from you and does this, you, he walks off the trail towards the camp. Yeah, and I Does he him. say something about going to that camp? Is he pissed off at that camp? No, he sees it. Okay. But no. So you guys walk towards this camp. And it's random. You say Corey doesn't know this guy. Yeah. You don't know this guy. Yeah. So you walk into this camp. Did they say anything to you? No, I think the guy was sleeping, to okay. tell you the truth. So um, the guy's in bed sleeping. Is Where's he at? Uh, on the ground. He's sleeping on the ground? Yeah. Is he in a tent, under a tarp, in a, uh, just laying on the dirt, a sleeping bag? Just, just the dirt, I think. Okay. I think. So yeah. tell me, so... You follow according to the camp. Kind of tell me about the camp a little bit. Okay. There was, it was kind of hard to see because it, it was dark, dark yeah. and his fire looked like it pretty much went out. Okay. Um, but there was a big tent by it. Okay. So there's a big tent there. Uh huh. Okay. And you walk in and you think he's asleep. I don't walk in. He's asleep outside the tent. He's on the ground. That's what I'm saying. When you walk yeah. into the camp, do you believe he's asleep? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And what does Corey say? It kind of mumbles in like a drunk talk, like, how are you doing? Corey says that? Uh-huh. Okay. Is he drunk? Yeah. He probably was like 10 deep, probably. 10 beers? Uh-huh. Okay. Plus, have you guys smoked marijuana? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, so got marijuana and beer in it. You say he mumbles something. Uh-huh. Okay. Yep. Then, and, and to the guy. To the guy. Yep. And then what? Shot him. What did you guys say anything to him? I don't know. It's almost like I I just didn't want. You know what I mean? And so I don't think I looked when he shot him. Okay. But if I had to guess, somewhere here. Okay, so he shoots him somewhere in the upper body. That one. Uh, then he takes off running, and I don't know what else to do but run to, I guess. Okay. Get in the truck, get pulled over. Okay. The forensic evidence on the scene doesn't tell that story. Okay. The things that we can prove don't tell me that, don't tell us that story. Okay. okay. There, was, there was more to it. Okay. So you, I'll, I'll try, I'm going to quit I'll dragging shit out no, of you. No, seriously. Go. You I'm, need to tell us everything. Okay. okay. I'm trying. I really am. Because there's more to it. But you need to understand that, that when we ask you questions, a lot of times we already know what those answers are. Yeah. Okay. And if you, and, and when, you when you leave things out of the story, Makes it, it makes it look bad for you, okay? So we need to stop that. Okay. Okay. So. Okay, so where'd you want to know? Because I thought. I, I want to know the truth is what I want to know. But okay. I know what all the I know what all the evidence is. I okay. know what the forensic evidence tells us. We know a lot of this story already. Uh -huh. I want you to tell me that story. I want you to be honest with me and be a witness to this, not a suspect. Don't. I just left that scene with CSI. Okay. Yeah. I know. 
exactly what happened there. Yeah. Okay. So he said there's more to it than just running yeah, away. Because a lot of the things you're telling us, oh, okay, yeah. So I took off running. He took off running. We, lo I lost him. Okay. And I got to the truck and I had to wait for him for 25 minutes. I'll bet you. Um, that's probably the part that was miss missing, huh? Well, I wouldn't say so. And he said he ran into more people and fought him with his fists. Okay. Some more stuff happened in the camp. Uh, that was away from the camp. That was somebody else's oh, in camp. The camp. He's asking you. He's, he's making a statement to you. More stuff happened in the camp after the shooting happened. That's what we're trying to get the truth about. You guys didn't, oh. walk, in, you guys didn't walk in banging and run away. There was more to it than that. I promise you, yeah. I, I really do promise you. minutes to think about it. Okay. okay. Now, I don't want you to tell me anything that's not true. Okay. If you're telling me the truth, you stick to your story. For sure. But I don't believe your story. So okay. I want, we're going to give you a few minutes to think about how you want to proceed here. And we're going to come back in and you're going to tell us the real story of what happened out there. Okay. Now, if it's the story you've already told me, fine. That's going to be your version of the truth. Okay. Unfortunately, the evidence is going to, tell, going to point that that's not the truth. Oh, man. But, if it, but I don't want you to lie to me. Okay, I, right. I promise okay. that. Give us a minute, okay? Yeah. We'll just leave that right there. Okay. to be moving you over to Ogden City Police Department. Okay. I'm going to drive you over there. Okay. okay? I'm cool. Detective Haney. I work with the Sheriff's Office. I'm okay. going to be taking you over. Since you've already been booked into Weber County, I'll take you over there, and then I'll stay there until we've answered questions and stuff at Ogden City, and then I'll bring you back. Okay. Okay. Cool. Good. I'll All get right. you over there, okay? Um, yeah. We're going to uh, take your sandwich, too. Awesome. i got to handcuff you. Okay. okay. Okay, stand you, up. Yeah. You'll be taking the room with you. Put your hand behind your back. Yeah, we'll, we'll bring your sandwich. How was it? Well, I'm having a tough time eating today, so I just, I need to eat it all. Put it over there. I don't want to tighten up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Turn your camera off for locations. Okay.